Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from the Intelli Getting Started series. In this video we'll look at installing and configuring IntelliConnect. Before we begin the installation process we need to first talk about some prerequisites that need to be considered. It is recommended that you read our documentation on selecting a computer to host Intelli at the link shown on the screen. This document talks about the recommended hardware and software for the system to be used for Connect. It is important to note that performance issues can arise from running IntelliConnect on a lower spec system. We also do not recommend running Connect and data processing on the same system. We have several other documents relating to installing, troubleshooting and getting started with IntelliConnect. It is recommended that you also review these documents to familiarise yourself with IntelliConnect before you install it. This tutorial demonstrates installing Connect as the user who has logged on to the system. Note that when IntelliConnect is installed in this way, it must be started with the same user account logged on to the system which was originally used when Connect was installed. For example, if I install Connect while logged on to the system as Bob, I must be logged on to the system as Bob to run Connect. IntelliConnect can also be installed as a service which starts Connect automatically when the computer system is booted. Setting up Connect to run as a service is a more complex process and more information regarding this topic can be found in section 3 of the IntelliConnect user manual and will also be available in another video. In this tutorial I make mention of two administrators. The first is the Inteller admin, which is the person who will install Connect, set up and manage users in Connect, and manage cases in Connect. The second is your network administrator, who will be crucial in the setup of Inteller Connect. He or she will have the experience and the ability to configure web services for the server, configure routing, and to open ports and firewalls if required. They can also assist you with the IntelliConnect installation. To install Connect you must be logged on to the system with the administrator account or with a user account which has administrator rights. Make sure the port which you will use for IntelliConnect and the reviewer systems is available and not in use. Again, the network administrator can help you with this. The installation file for IntelliConnect can be downloaded from the Intelli support portal shown at the link below. Once downloaded, double click on the executable file to start the installation process. On the welcome window, click the next button. Click on I agree to accept the license agreement. This window shows two products which can be installed. IntelliConnect is what this tutorial is about and what we will install. IntelliProcessor is a new product which is used to allow case creation and indexing of data managed from the IntelliConnect system. Normally IntelliProfessional or IntelliTeam is required to perform these tasks. We will have a closer look at IntelliProcessor in another video. Also note that only one instance of either product should be run on each system. Check the option for Install IntelliConnect and click on Next. This screen allows you to path where Connect will be installed. Note that IntelliConnect cannot be installed in the installation folder of an earlier version. For this tutorial I'll use the default location, however I will change it slightly. I'll add the revision number to the end of the folder name. The revision number is a sequential number which increases with each version of Connect that is released. You can alternately use a date format if desired. Doing this makes it easy to see which versions have been installed. Click next to continue. As mentioned earlier, IntelliConnect can be installed as a service. In this case we'll install Connect as an application and we'll remove the tick from this checkbox. Remember that when installing Connect this way, Connect must be started with the same user account which was used during the installation. Click next to continue. On the screen you can set the start menu folder. I normally copy what I've named the installation folder here so that the start menu folder matches it. 
This reduces confusion if you install several upgrades of Connect on the same system. Click Install to start the installation process. Once Intella has been installed, click on the Finish button. I also add the revision number to the Connect icon on the desktop. Again, this helps to identify which version I am running. Double click the Connect icon on the desktop to start IntelliConnect. You will notice that IntelliConnect runs in the taskbar as opposed to opening as an application like we see with IntelliDesktop. To launch the Connect dashboard, right click on the icon in the taskbar and select cases from the list. IntelliConnect will present a login screen. The default username and password for the new installation is admin. Use these credentials to log on to the Connect dashboard. Note that the password can be changed once you have logged into the dashboard. The Connect dashboard is what the Inteller admin uses to create cases, import cases, share cases, create users and assign roles and permissions to those users and to set other configuration settings related to Connect. We are currently in the Cases tab. Here we can create a case or add an existing case. We'll have a look at creating a case with IntelliConnect in another video. I'll go through adding an existing case shortly, however, for now we'll cover off the other tabs shown on the left. The Remote Indexing tab lets the Intella admin set up remote processing systems which run the indexing and processing tasks when a case is created in IntelliConnect. Note that remote processing is designed so each processing station indexes a separate case independently. Remote processing is not distributed processing where several processing stations index the same case simultaneously. The user management tab is where the Intello admin creates users and assigns roles and permissions to those users. This section also allows you to configure IntelliConnect to work with LDAP directories. For this tutorial we want to create a new user so click on the add button. The create user account window is shown. Enter a username and password for the new account and click on set. Note that for this demonstration I've used a three character password. You should consult and adhere to your company policy regarding password complexity and other security settings. Back in the user management tab you can see that the new user Bob has been created. By default this account has the reviewer role which means it can access cases, participate in review, export and print items. We don't need to do anything extra to this account in terms of review. We will use this account to access a case later in this tutorial. The system notification tabs displays notifications about IntelliConnect. There are three categories. The first category addresses critical notifications. These are notifications requiring attention such as the default password has not been changed. The second category is to do with warning notifications. These include warnings such as Intella not being able to find native applications like Microsoft Word or Adobe Acrobat, which are required for native review. The last category is to inform the user with information, such as Internet Explorer 8 browser support is ending. The activity stream records activity from shared cases. In this case there is no activity as we have not added any cases to connect. The settings tab allows the Intella admin to configure general settings, SSL support and branding. Branding allows you to add your own logo to IntelliConnect. The about tab displays information regarding the version of connect, the browsers which connect is optimized for and links to our support and forum sites. To add an existing case to connect, Click on the Cases tab, then click on the Add Case button. The Add Existing Case window is displayed. Enter the path to the existing case. Note that the path must point to the case.xml file for the case which you want to add to connect. If the path is correct, the details of the case will be displayed in the lower pane. Click OK to add this case. Now we can see the case which we just added. Again, the details for the case are shown. To share the case, you simply click on the Share button, but before we do that, we need to add a user to the case. Click on Authorizations. 
Start typing the name of the user we just created and you will see that a list of users matching the type text is shown in a drop down box. Select the user from the list and click on OK. Back in the Cases tab, click the Share button to share the case. Note that the Share button changes colour from green to red and is now labelled Unshare. You will also notice that the case URL is now blue and acts as a link. This is what you provide to the reviewer along with the logon credentials so that they can paste the link into a web browser and access the case. Create a copy of the link. Open another tab in the browser or a new browser window and paste the link into the address bar then press enter. A logon screen for the reviewer will be shown. Log on using the credentials for the user account we created. Once logged in, the reviewer is shown their reviewer dashboard. The dashboard contains several pieces of information related to the work completed in the case. There is an overview of the data sources and a breakdown of the data types within the sources. There is information regarding tags and documents which have been previewed, redacted and exported. Other information regarding the reviewers and which activities have occurred in the case is available. The reviewer will spend most of their time in the search tab. This screen resembles the layout of IntelliDesktop, where the reviewer can use the same functionality to conduct their search and review of data. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. More videos can be viewed at the link shown below.